<laughs> we should trust women that they can make decisions for their own bodies. Sindio, asante ni sana. I find that growing up, the topic of sex and sexuality was very taboo. I wish there were spaces that I could ask questions that I had struggled with growing up about contraception, about sex. At Tika, we open spaces that allow those kind of conversations. People come and have honest, frank conversations about sex. There is no topic that we consider too taboo to talk about. Our curriculum is created in such a way that adolescent girls can use it, adolescent boys can use it, adult women, adult men, sex worker groups, women with disabilities, LGBTI community. We do cooking classes, we work with communities to identify common ailments and treat those at home using kitchen pharmacies. Working with elders includes us recognizing the richness of our culture, documenting it for future generations in a book that's called Using Our Traditions. When many people hear about either traditional medicine or herbal medicine, there's a lot of misconception of what that is. What we try and teach in the communities is how this is sometimes something right in your garden. We want individuals going through our program to come out empowered. We also want to see them bringing this back to their communities. Tika's goals are to continue to create communities that are active actors for their own health. We believe in beauty and we also recognize the healing aspects that art brings. We believe in the power of stories. When we sit and listen to stories in our communities, we do see the challenges, but also we do see stories of triumph, we see stories of strength. It's these individual stories that build up to the change that we want to see in our communities.